Uh, what's up, everybody? Give me one so I can make sure everything's working on my end. Uh huh. Like I said, give me a sec. I got something's not right. Let me fix that. Now. Uh, sorry, Rain. Give me a second. There we go. We should be good. But well, we're back in Trails Cold Steel 3 today. I was able to stream earlier, but we're streaming now. Expect some weekend streams because I am home alone, so I might stream twice tomorrow. At least that's the plan. But we're back. We gotta get on the bike real quick and we're gonna head out. We need to drop Emma and Selene off at the sea before we head back to camp. Should we keep going? Answer is yes. Answer is yes, I mean. Ugh. Gotta get back into this. Alright. We just my headset. It's been a while since I was last on an orbital bike. Alright. Try to keep from shaking too much. I'm a little on the full side. Oh, Selene. You'll never keep your figure if you keep it overeating like that. S shut up. I just lost myself for a minute. That's all. <laughs> Let's get you two back to Crossbell. I'm a Selene. You two can ride in the sidecar. Very well, thank you. I shall take my usual spot. Yeah, but on our bike. Come on, Allie. We haven't seen each other in a long time, so don't get in the way, alright? Oh, is that how things is that how things like this are supposed to go? <laughs> Let's just get going, everyone. Alright, let me just readjust my headset again. Try to get comfortable. So you ramped up your search about half a year ago? Yes. I returned home and I had my grandmother instruct me on ancient arts. We had already mastered those same ones by the time she was 16. She was considered a true prodigy. You never had a wild personality, but I think you managed just as well. Your magical ability should be about on par with Via's now. <laughs> I certainly like to, like to think that's true. I'd say it is true with that spell you pulled earlier. And Celine, you stopped me from losing control. I choose a spell to calm your mana. Even if your mana being out of whack was most likely not the problem. Just as good as it worked. I see. If you losing control, then something Grandma told me might help. But for now, at least I think you have the right idea about not overusing it. Yeah, it'll be a last resort at most. I wish I understood better, but basically you're not going to push yourself, right? Now I know why Allie always worries. We'll do what we can to avoid being a hindrance. So don't be afraid to rely on us. That's kind of you both, but... I agree with them. Though, by this point, you should know my opinion on the matter. That I do. Okay, I'll need all three of you back to have my back. Aw, oh, you have such a good rapport with your students. They're running apart with your old class, Seven. But uh, are we? I'd say we're still very green. We still got some challenges up ahead. Elliot has his share, too. Speaking of old classmates, you really have been talking to Elisa and Machias recently, right? <laughs> how did you know? It's painfully obvious, for one. Why else would they be talking about ways to help you? Celine, that was supposed to be a secret. Our instructor really is lucky to have such great friends. And you have never met them without being a part of Class 7. I understand the sentiment, even if I can't relate. I hope we can see both of them soon. By the way, Emma, what are you doing to not... Huh? Instructor? What's the matter? Just look at that. What, what is it? Uh, we don't know because we got a black screen. <laughs> oh, hey. Jock Pierce is leading off tonight. That's good for me. He's in my fancy lineup. That's a big uh, gun. RF made tactical weapon, Dragonov Railway Cannon.
What's the point of just rising up like that and going? Just look at them. Those are railway cannons. They used to have some station but in Gorilla Fortress. The power is terrifying. It's not the right cross a city like Crossbow off the map in half a day's time. The size and design aren't the same once we start the fortress. Must be a newer model. Are you being slept along the border? Unbelievable. Just what is about to happen in this country? That is a good question, Celine. Alright. Five PM. Oh, stop and eat some food? No, we're just outside the restaurant. Thank you for bringing us here. Yeah, thanks. No worries. So this is where you got your staying, huh? Long Lao. It's an Eastern style tavern inn. Between the food and the inn, I have no complaints. Oh, um, I think I'll like it here. Zhang Hui's food is amazing, and the rooms are nice and relaxing. By the way, I'm probably mispronounced the hell of Chinese names. I am not that knowledgeable on how to pronounce them. So, for, please forgive me if you're Chinese. Uh, I am my Arcus too, so please contact me if something's up. I'll do the same if I come across any information. Got it, thank you. Bye now. Don't push yourself too hard. Now let's go back to camp. Yeah, I'm exhausted. Physically as well as mentally. Yeah. Why are y'all staring at me? I just have a lot on my mind. Like where are we cans for one? Yeah, quick drink. I'm not from Crossville, but I can see how things are becoming. How different things are becoming, I should say. Let's get back and organize our reports so we can pinpoint the problem areas. Kurt, Allie. The phone is ringing. Swords are oh, here. Oh good, you picked up! Where are you right now, Reen? Are you done with your special ops missions? Yeah, I've just got back to town. Did you call about the railway cannons? Ah, so, you saw them too? I do want to talk about that, but there's another matter that Check needs our muscles. attention first. Uh, Can you come back to the camp ASAP? That's the plan. Wait a sec, what kind of matter are we uh, talking oh. here? Hello, Yuna. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. The branch campus just got a request from the Governor General. That's all. Huh? What kind of a request? He asked us to go to the party at Orcus Tower tonight as part of the security detail. Also, that we greet Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin. Party at Orcus Tower, that's the name of the stream. Rain the others returned to camp, showered it, and changed into the spare uniforms. Leaving the camp to worry about the police? Sorry. The students and faculty all head to the Governor General's office, Orcus Tower. 6.10 p.m. Hey. I love the music in this game. Once again, like, JRPGs always nail music for me. Like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, this game, like, they just vibe. Like, when I write, I listen to soundtracks from, like, Trails. I'm not even joking. A lot of, uh, cinematics here. And Twitch crashed on my computer. Got to love it. 
Let's refresh. Hopefully that works. We shall see. More than max. Hey, even the ship's playing on a light shell. Yeah, tomorrow I will be doing um Madden. I don't know what I'll do for a second stream, maybe AI because I missed that this week. But yeah. Many influential individuals have gathered here at Orcus Tower tonight. However, we've confirmed that Speaker McDowell was not one of the people invited to the festivities. Very I worry the reporting. citizens of Crossbell won't take the news that their local representative has been snubbed like... Yeah, that was going to happen. Pardon us for that. The views and opinions just expressed are not endorsed by this news channel. I love good old censorship. Uh, let me adjust my headset a little bit. There we go. Fancy. And there's everybody. Staff and students of Thor's branch campus, thank you for all your hard work. I will explain the particulars for the security at tonight's event, but first, allow me to introduce the people for which you'll be providing security. Imperial Governor Carl Regnitz. I said general, It's yeah. a pleasure to meet you all. I'm governor. responsible for overseeing said, said, the well-being of the governor. Oh my, my god. My name is Carl Regnitz. Sorry, Regnitz, I spoke over you. Leaves is a part of the capital suburbs. It's unfortunate we haven't met before, but this is a good opportunity for us to become acquainted. Erna Reinford? Irina Reinford, nice to meet you. I suppose we've been indirectly working with each other via your use of the Arcus II's, the Derflinger, and the Panzer Soldats. I've read your reports, so I have high expectations for each of you. Governor Regnance is a sworn ally of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. She's Elisa's mother. I remember Grandpa mentioning her before. These guests, on the other hand, should require no introduction. What's up, Alfin? It's so nice to meet all of you from the Branch Campus. I am the Princess of the Empire of Erebonia, Alfin Rice Arner. I wish we could have met before, but I'm glad to finally have the opportunity. <gasps> I'm sure it's due to Adios's guidance that we were able to meet tonight. Prince Oliver. I am none other than Olivert Rice Arner, though some have taken to referring to me as the debaucherous prince. I am here as head of the inspection team, though as it's simply for show, it may be more accurate to call me a figurehead. <laughs> However, truth be told, I actually have a small connection with all of you. Up until last year, I was the chairman of the board at Thor's main campus. 
And coincidences abound, for the three here with me comprise the entire board of directors. I'm sure it's a bit late by this point, but I'd like to welcome you to Thor's. Even in these turbulent times, I wish for each and every one of you to enjoy your youth to its fullest and become the foundation of the world. As I explained earlier, we'd be standby on floor 34, wine flow before the event. Let me make this clear, we are strictly as backup. Do not do anything rash. Hang on. I'm just, I gotta say something. Hang on. Jesus, school got some serious connections. The prince mentioned it back to me, to me back during their trade conference, but <laughs> seeing them all reminds me of my time at the main campus. Yeah, it really takes me back. I remember them all dancing by, by the bonfire at the school festival. I can't even picture that. Thank you all for your assistance here. Ah, oh, Governor General. You seem to be enjoying your life as an instructor, instructor at the branch campus. See, that makes me proud that I've been the one to nominate you, first attended Orlando. Nominated by the Governor General? I see. <laughs> For a nomination, it, it sure sounded pretty mandatory. Anyway, did you need something from me? Or did you come here to tell them what you're going to do with them? Hang on. I haven't a clue what you're talking about, to be honest. I came here to speak with Rain. Huh? Join me on floor 36, which is reserved for the VIPs. I was able to set up a small window of time during the dinner party to speak with some of the guests. Bring the new Class 7 Cadet Russell along with you. I'd like them th to be there. Alright, Tia, you're up. This is floor 36, the VIP floor. Go to Ragnitz and Chairman Reinfeld in the second room ahead. Her, His Highness, Prince Oliver, and Her Highness, Prince Alfin in the farthest room. Please speak with the security guards before entering. Understood. Thank you for your help. Oh, I'm getting kind of nervous. Is it a bit too much for us to go up and have a chat with the Royals of the Empire? Well, they said they wanted to talk with the new Class 7. As for you, Tila, Prince Oliver, and Chairman Aaron are requested to meet with you. It's been quite a while since I've spoken with the Prince. Damn, my voice is just not there. I'm excited to see him again. It'll be my first time meeting Elisa's mother, though. With the exception of the RF Chairman, I'm acquainted with all of them. I am acquainted with the Imperial family as well. Don't need to be formal, just act the way you always do. Easy for you to say, I'm not acquainted with any of these mega VIPs. Well, now's a good opportunity to get to know them. Let's go to the Governor Ragnets and Chairman Irina's room first. Would it be this one? No. Oh, it'd probably be this one. Yeah. Eh. 
You're class 7 and Miss Tita Russell, correct? Yes, that's right. Does Governor Ragnitz and Trim Eno's room? Yes, they're expecting you. Please go in. Alright, pardon us. I wonder what Lisa's mother is like. Ah, uh, welcome! Sorry to call for you like this. I'm sure you're busy with security matters. No, it's fine. I'm glad for the chance to talk. It's good to see you again, Governor Regnitz and Chairman Arena. I see Sharon is with you too. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to promptly meet with the Chairman. I'm glad to see you all were able to safely complete your duties for the day. I've heard about what you've been doing for your special ops missions. Thank you for your assistance. So you are the new Class 7? And you are Professor Erica's daughter. Uh. I yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know my mother? I met her when I went to Liberal with my father many years ago. We still keep in touch, even if she spends most of her letters gushing about you. <laughs> Mother, nice to see you again, Governor Regnitz. <laughs> I believe the last time was at Corel Imperial Villa, but now you're one of Reen's students? This sure is an interesting class. I heard you met with Machias and Elisa earlier? Yeah, thankfully. Elisa delivered orbital bikes and new equipment for the Darflinger. I see. Here, have a seat. Sharon, some tea for our guests. <laughs> Certainly. The New Empire's Eight Metropolis Plan? Yes, currently Ordis Bray, Hard Ruhr, St. Ark, and Heindal, the five biggest cities in the Empire. We plan to add Jurai in the northwest, Haliask in the north, and Crossbow City to them to create the new core of the new Empire. The obvious speech explaining the particulars tomorrow when Crossbow's eventual legislator is assembled. Th that's what they've been planning? Could you give us a quick overview? There are a few elements to it, but most notable is the new tax plan. Currently, urban taxes offer different r rates differ by region. Under this plan, all you say to have the same tax loss rate as Heimdall. Th that's... Huh? That's good, right? I feel crossbow taxes have been high since the annexation. Yes, different tax rates are a hassle when you're doing business across regions. The ultimate plan is to have a single tax rate for the Empire, just like the Burl, for example. Th that's right! Taxes are pretty much the same wherever you go in the Burl. It seems like a logical plan, but that's... It's going to be a big change for the nobles who live off the province's taxes. I have no doubt there will be many obstacles going forward. But we plan to discuss all those with the provincial legislature tomorrow. Just so you know, Karsal will benefit greatly from having the same taxes as Heimdall. R really? Um, excuse me, but you're talking to Speaker McDowell about this, right? Yes, that was a plan, but it may not be that easy. Apparently, he won't be at the dinner tonight. I'm a little concerned about him. I see. I wonder if he's ill. That's a little worrying. I haven't heard anything about Speaker McDowell either. I'm sure he has much to think on, though. Chancellor Osborne, Governor General, Rufus plans for one. Uh. We all have respective reasons for coming to Crossbell. I was originally planning to coming here to, on my own, separately from an inspection team. I'm sure the same could be said there of the prince and the princess. I... So all this, including the visit from the Pantagruel, is the doing the pure government, government and the governor general? The means our final fear exercises being in Crossbell will also... Even the railway can is being deployed here. 
Uh. So you saw them. The new Dragunov class were away cannons. One well, of my main reasons for visiting was to oversee the deployment. So, Dragunov class? But why? Trim would you explain to us just what those things are capable of? Masterine. Very well, I'll tell you what we can announce publicly right now. Dragunov class railway guns are the newest model, though the official successor are the ones installed at Gurlia Fortress. I can't go into specifics, but suffice to say they maintain the fire of the old models while drastically increasing their mobility. By making use of the detour rails, they can be used at any point along the railways. They can even be moved for the along the transcontinental railroads, for example. Huh. Weapons of mass destruction comparable to the ones at Gurlia Fortress? I haven't seen them in person, but reportedly they're capable of destroying large safe with probably some 100,000 in less than two hours. Huh? But why would you bring such a thing to Crossbell? Why was never a concern. I was asked to make an Imperial Army to make them, so I did. That's all. The advisor at your school, Professor Schmidt, helped out as well. But what? Huh. Sorry to, to have betrayed your expectations like this. But both Chairman and I were involved in the assassination of the original Class 7. That's one of the reasons we wanted to meet with you today. We wanted you to be aware of both of the bright future and the cruel present between the Empire and Crossbell. Uh, Governor Regnitz. Our time is nearly up. I believe the Prince and Princess are waiting to speak with you. We wouldn't make do to make them wait any longer necessary. True. Governor Regnitz, Chairman Irina, please excuse us. Yes, I pray your few exercises turn out well. Take care. Looks like my storm tonight. Farewell, everyone. I'm in no position to comment on anything Chairman has said, but it's all right. She's a tough person, but I know she's fair too. For the time being, I'll accept her and the governor's words. You have a most gracious thanks. I will also pray for your few exercises, exercises safely. Well, there's that. Weapons of mass destruction that are, ma that are portable. You know, are you okay? I can't just stay calm about all this. But I know those two told us all that without hiding anything. So I'll accept what they said for now. Yuna. Agreed. I have my own concerns about the Eight Metropolis plan. Yeah, you should each think about what we learned tonight. But time is short right now. We should go meet the prince and princess. Yes, they should be in the next room down the hall. I got the hiccups for some reason. Please have more voice acting. My voice can't take much for it right now. Class 7 and Cadet Russell of Thor's branch games have arrived. <laughs> Hello. I have orders from Prince Oliver to let you pass. Be mindful of the fact you have me with the pure family. Please mind your manners. Understood. Please excuse us. The Imperial family. Reem! <laughs> Welcome, all of you. Elise, Princess Alvin, good to see you both. Yes, likewise. If I recall correctly, we haven't seen each other since the end of last year. And Elise... Oh, Elise? It's nothing. Uh-huh. Sure, Elise. Good to see you again, Reen. Yeah, it's been too long. I heard you became student council president. Is that going well? Oh, absolutely. Her popularity with the younger students has simply skyrocketed. Everyone there relies on her all the time. Perhaps tonight, she can rely on her dearest brother to comfort her? Your Highness! <laughs> I'm glad to see you two are as close as ever. So these are the princess and Instructor Rain's little sister. Both of them are so gorgeous, it's like they stepped right out of a dream. Aha! Welcome, young Rain. Prince Oliver, it's been a while since I've seen you too. Indeed, over a year? <laughs> Far too long by my reckoning. Late though it may be, I'd like to congratulate you on graduating. I'd also like to thank you for lending your aid to the Branch Campus. 
<laughs> I'm not worthy of those words. You've done a lot for me too, your highness. You and Toval. Let me thank you on behalf of all my classmates who aren't here today. Oh, that little parlor trick I did for you. <laughs> think nothing of it. I guess the old Class 7 has a lot going on. He's pretty charismatic. Just what I'd expect from a prince. Um, I'd hesitate to call him a typical prince. <laughs> so we have the new Class 7 and my very own little comrade in arms. It's good to see you again, Kurt. But, Tita, has it truly been three years? Well, perhaps no. I should play you a song to mark this joyous reunion of friends long apart. <laughs> I think we'll pass. Besides, I'm sure you don't have much time before the dinner. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're the same as ever. It is a pleasure to see you again, too, Your Majesty. Wait, what? I've heard rumors about the kind of person he is. They appear to have all been true. <laughs> Dear Oliver, can't you see the new people are overwhelmed by your charms? <laughs> Please, have a seat, everyone. Ah, this brings me back. Last time we were together, Tio, was during the incident in the Burl. Oh, wait, no, it was the in Phantasma, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that place was pretty tough to deal with. But I'm pretty sure to see. I'm happy to see you're doing well since then, Oliver. Prince Oliver. Oh, it was more hard to see what life we're on the way you've grown into. Was there anything causing dear Ag at no end of trouble? <laughs> well, um. <laughs> in fact, I'm told you ran to him in Sutherland. I've heard all about your previous life field exercises. Thank you for doing them on behalf of the Imperial government. Old Class 7 Agate helped out a lot. The entire branch campus too, led by Kurt Alt you know, and Altina. Instructor. I heard that you joined Class 7, Kurt. It, tr it truly seems to be... Oof. It seems to be a good fit for you. Never expected Cedric would have done such a thing. Uh... Princess. So you heard. Alright, you two are the older siblings of that snobby prince guy. That's a little too disrespectful, and this is me talking. Well, I certainly can argue with that point. Unfortunately, let me say this rain. You as well, Kurt, given your family has been through. We sincerely apologize for his actions. No, please don't. Don't trouble yourself over it. My father, brother, and uncle have all accepted already. Hmm. I am so lost. You don't have to worry about me either. If anything, I was surprised at how it grew in such a short time. When he started being like that, around summer of last year, after he was unable to attend the summer festival due to illness, it was though he changed into a completely different person. He grew taller and stronger. With that, it would have been fine, but he also became much more forceful. Our mother was worried about him too, but we can only assume it was due to the influence of that man. That man. Seems you've been trained well. Indeed, thank you. Chancellor Osborne. We're saying such as begin to look up to him. Huh? Uh he is Isn't he the one they call the Blood and Iron Chancellor? He's the one who put the whole accusation of Crossbell. To be fair, he has always admired that Chancellor has done things to some extent. Chancellor played a part to help in, in Cedric recover and grow, then he has my thanks for that. I have no doubt Cedric will learn to control that forcefulness of his one day. Don't count on it. Trust me, just don't count on it. Kurt, Ring, please watch over him for me. Oliver. Yes. Of course, Your Highness. It sounds like there were some complicated things going on. <laughs> I definitely have a better impression of them now. It's because they both care a lot for the little brother a lot. But yeah, I introduced myself as well. I'm Elise Schwarzer, Lorraine's younger sister. Thank you all for taking care of my brother. Huh? He's the one who takes care of us. Er, I mean, I don't really look up to him, but I don't hate him or anything. 
huh? My word, you're welcome. You're welcome, though it is true that you are far more often dead than him. Same here, he gives me always his lessons and with pants are sold out related things. Is that so? Well, even so, my brother is still very new to being instructed, so please take care of him. Is that really necessary? Oh, enough playing around you. At all, you're the one who looks up to Reen the most. P princess Ahem, <laughs> any event. I was surprised you you, you joined class seven, Altina. It's something I feel like it was meant to be, Elise. I'm surprised to hear that. Let me impression my presence would bring like unpleasant memories given our history. Well sure I'm not pleased with you for ki having kidnapped myself and a princess, but I was told you had been helping out my brother, so I wanted to thank you. Though you may be a student now, I ask you to continue looking after him. Uh mm-hmm. Allie. Wait, what was that about kidnapping? I recall hearing you were a spy for the Noble Alliance, but... Yes, as part of my spy missions, I abducted Elise and the Princess. That's the first time I met Instructor Rain. Oh yes, those <laughs> sure were the days. It's strange indeed to think that after all that, you're a member of Class 7 now. But it's all thanks to you I was able to find... be able to... Uh, it's all thanks to you I was able to be the damsel in distress and find myself carried in the safety of Rain's arms. Princess... So that's how you know each other? Wow, I'm impressed with all the things the class you established has achieved, Olivier. <laughs> oh, stop, Tia. You flatter me ever so. I don't know where to start with that one. But I see now. Definitely acts like a big brother. Elise, I'm guessing you're just about the same age as me? My apologies for interrupting. However, it's no time for the dinner party. You will need to prepare soon. Alrighty, how time flies. Understood. Thank you for letting us know. Well, I suppose it is once more time for a sweet sorrow that is parting. I have a little doubt we'll meet again soon, however. Thank you for calling us here. I hope your inspection goes smoothly. Please keep looking out after these two. Okay, Elise? Yes, of course. You take care of your class as well, Rain. I pray you find success with your field exercises. Oh uh, yes, one final thing. Wrong that girl with mint-colored hair. Uh, hmm? Are you talking about Musee Egret? Musee? Egret, I see. Um, what about her? She's a classmate of mine. Oh, I see. Princess. Yes. My apologies for bringing it up. For the moment I thought I knew her, but it must have been a mistake. But for now, and thank you. Wish we could have talked a bit longer. Either way, I'm glad they, seemed, they all seemed well. Yes, I agree. I heard quite a few rumors about Olivier, so I was a little worried. But it seems like he's doing just fine after all. Is Olivier his nickname or something? Well, when he visited the borough four years ago, he hid a identity and took a different name. To me, he's still the funniest, smart, and reliable bard, Olivier. Is that so? So that means you must know he's my older brother as well. Oh, you mean Mr. Mueller? He and Olivia are pretty much best friends. I know you were his little brother. Oh, well, half brother. We have different mothers, and frankly, we look nothing alike. I hadn't heard that before. Hmm, Allie? What's wrong? I just always feel a little bit of regret for I did the princess and instructor Rain's little sister. It was my mission, so I know I shouldn't feel bad, but I see. Well, Tina, that <laughs> seems like you're growing up too, Allie. These are the princess are both so gorgeous, I can't fall behind. <laughs> I understand that feeling. Do you, Kurt? Alright, well done with the meeting the VIPs. Party's going to, going to start soon, so let's get back to 434. Yeah, understood. Got some character notes. Well, it seems we've done talk on everyone. Uh, go to General Rufus. Anyways, you won this war as well, Your Excellency. Oh, no need for that. Just call me Rufus. So it's time for the guests to be sent to the venue. Well, I'm glad I went to you here, Rain. I'd like to talk to you. In private. I'm sure you won't take much time. Well... Sorry, guys. Can you head back without me? Oh, well, sure, but... Understood. <laughs> there are some things we just can't talk about with the young ones here. 
Come to think of it, I suppose this is the first time we'll have spoken one-on-one -on -one like this. Yes, that's true. So, am I speaking to the Governor General of Crossbell? Or, am I speaking to the leader of the Ironbloods? <laughs> ah, the Ironbloods. Gifted children found and taken in by His Excellency Lord Osborne. Mostly the latter, to answer your question. But you forget, I'm also a former member of the Thor's Board of Directors. At the same time, my younger brother is one of your classmates. I'm certain there is an abundance of topics we could discuss. If you need to leave a message for Eusis, I'll make sure he gets it. We'll be meeting up before too long. Ah, so you've already managed to meet with some of your other classmates. Not all of them, though, hmm. I suppose it must be difficult getting hold of Gaius and Instructor Valestine. <laughs> How much does he know? He knows everything, Rain. <laughs> I jest. Our time is short and better spent on topics besides my brother. What I wish to discuss is your rather fascinating lineage. <laughs> Okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. Hey, flashback sequence. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. The group's primary member, in fact. Though that secret was, until very recently, kept between myself and His Excellency the Chancellor. Relentlessly, without looking back. <laughs> As long as you do, I'm sure. I'm taking over that phantasmal blaze plan of yours. And my first order of business will be sorting out the mess you left in Crossbell. Why... Why are you still alive? Crow shot you! You're supposed to be dead! I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Please, take good care of Crow for me. But in the end, he couldn't avenge his grandfather. He did get revenge on you! Was everything he did... Was his whole life for nothing? Just as you have your reasons that guide your actions, so too does His Excellency. And I believe you factor into those reasons more than you might think. Reen, I pray you grow up strong and healthy. Oh, Adios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Indeed. The Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier, the hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. Let that play out. Then, please tell me. As much as I wanted to ask while all that was happening a year and a half ago, I couldn't. What is the Black Workshop? And how were they able to create Milium and Altina? What is the Phantasmal Blaze plan that Chancellor Osborne took from the Society? And how did you become leader of the Ironbloods? My lord, it's nearly time. Oh, none of those are getting answered right now. <laughs> oh, I have to press that. Okay. I shall be there shortly. I can answer some of your questions. Only His Excellency knows the truth about the Black Workshop. He entrusted the Black Rabbit to me personally. Second, I'm sure Claire, Lecter, and Milliam don't know this, but it seems we're being tested. They want to see whether any of us, yourself included, can reach the core. The core?
In regards to me being the leader of the Ironbloods, 12 years ago, I manipulated my father into sending a Jaeger Corps called Arngarm to attack His Excellency. Arngarm? That's the Corps V from the Imperial Liberation Front was the leader of. He said they were hired by some high-up noble to attack the Chancellor, but were completely wiped out. <laughs> I wanted to test him. I wished to see just how capable this commoner Chancellor was, and if he could figure out who did it. Then one day, when I was practicing falconry with your adoptive father, Baron Schwarzer, who should he introduce me to but His Excellency? He had known it was me the whole time. Are you so bored you feel the need to play with fire? Do you tire of your empty days spent tied down by your family and title? Yes, I apologize for the other day, but it seems you're aware it was me who sent you that little greeting. The four great houses have no future. From here on, I shall consider you my true father, and one day surpass you. <laughs> That's a goal. Iron bloods, is it? They say children should surpass their fathers. I eagerly look forward to that day. And so, that is how I became the first Iron Blood. Huh. Later that evening, the dinner party on 435 began. I was the special team met with influential individuals from all around Crossbell. That was a little loud on the mic, my apologies. I was thirsty. That's not good. Jet's core backs hurt mm, in the preseason. That's never good. He limped. Oh, his non-contact? That's not good. That's only a terror or something. Wow, this is so tasty. I shouldn't expect to get the same food as the rest of the dinner party. <laughs> that was sure nice of him. Uh, if only I could find somebody closer to the princess. Aye, she was quite the looker. That black girl here was more of a little, more than a little cute herself. Hey, don't make me cut your head off, Irene. What you like? Look at his face. <laughs> Look at them all. You sure seem to be having a good time. Huh, the students don't need to be given such extravagant food. <laughs> well, we couldn't say no to Governor General Rufus's generosity. Let's have to invite you too, Randy. Heh, <laughs> that'll leave the tower though. But still, it's good to have you with us. Rufus. That's a type of mess of people. Yeah, he's not type of mess of people. I'm sure everything he said is true. Hiring V to the core 12 years ago, becoming the head of Iron Bloods? The connection between him and Blood Chancellor Osborne was my, was my father, Baron Sorcerer. Okay, Jiraiya, because his voice actor is Jiraiya. So, father knew Chancellor Osborne even back then? Does that mean from the day he found me in the blizzard? Rain? What's wrong? You don't look well. Oh no, I'm okay. I'll just think about something. I don't blame you. But the sound of it, some pretty heavy stories came out during your, during your special operations missions earlier today. Well, make sure you eat something. Can't go on a war with empty stomach or something. Yeah, you're right. I should just focus on my own issues. Right now, I need to focus on what's in front of me. I gotta fight these hiccups, man. The students and their field sizes. 
Let's see, we got Tita, Muse, Valerie, all over there. Oh, Muse, there's something I wanted to ask. Have you met the princess before? Oh, why you ask that? Well, she mentioned you look someone like someone she knew. So just wondering. <laughs> I may have run to her at a dinner party in the capital once or twice. I hear you're very well acquainted with Prince Oliver yourself, Tita. I believe I've heard about your future with heard of your future with a red-headed bracer was blessed by one of his highness's performance. What? Really? Why would Prince Oliver that guy performed? Um, I I don't remember. Why are you so much music? <laughs> uh Una's still gloomy. I thought she had brightened up a bit talking to his highness, but I'm sure she still has many concerns between the railway cans and Governor General Rufus. Is that so? Man, what are you guys' problem? You all look like crap. Hello to you too, Ash. Uh, what do you want? You have only been wandering around the whole time. Yeah, I was looking for ways to get out of this tower. You don't have any booze here for us, so I was thinking of going up to nightlife. Maybe find some babies to enjoy it with. <laughs> Wanna join me? Jeez, you haven't been scolded for that exact thing before. And what... What about that was supposed to come make me want to... Eh. What, what about that was supposed to make me want to come? Seems like the students have come in good time. <laughs> they be more aware of their surroundings. You should have the mindset to... Can't, eh, why do I keep flubbing? They should have... Eh, why? They should have the mindset that a mission is to finish only once you, you return to camp. By the way, the special team will be on standby after all this time for them to. It's time until. Uh, God damn it! Until it's time for them to move again. Is the camp going to be okay? I thought we were supposed to be there. There's no need to worry about that. The RMP troops stationed there have the best of the best. We haven't spotted any movement from the side recently. <laughs> well, you on the top of things. Hey, what happened to Major Cl Majors Claire and Lecter? They are currently on mission outside the tower. Don't worry about them. Just focus on your own task. G got it. Man, everywhere we go, everything's classified. The party should be ending about half hour or so. The day party reached its conclusion without any incidents. Until the guest houses for the inspection team had been prepared, they were to remain on the tower. You're free to do as you wish now. However, you must remain on the on the floor 34. If you're called, if you're called for, you must immediately re you must return to immediately. Now break. What's that look for, Muse? Huh? There isn't a whole lot of time. I guess just take a look around the floor. But that is where we're gonna call everybody. Thank you guys for showing up. I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Because I am tired. I did not sleep well last night. Wait, peace.